you know, this week was President's Week, and obviously that we've had uh, 46 different uh, presidents of the United States. And I guess the question is, which one do we all re recognize as our favorite and our greatest? So I'll start with Mark. Uh, Lincoln, uh, it's always tough between Lincoln and Washington, but I think Lincoln gets the edge because of the challenges that <clears throat> uh, we faced as a country during the Civil War, which when you go back and read the period are just staggering. And, and for the worst, uh, if that was, uh, it would be uh, James Buchanan, who really was not able to hold things together. Okay, Mike. So I've got to go with Mark with, with, with Lincoln, <clears throat> although I think that interestingly context um, is important. And so I think that if you look at Washington, um, setting the standard that he did really set the mark for others to follow. So, I mean, it's hard to <laughs> ignore that when you're looking at best, but I think when you look at the role that Lincoln and FDR played at times when our nation was really falling apart and their ability to kind of keep things together in very different contexts, I think point to each of them. So I think context is there, but I, I would also give you probably give the edge to Lincoln just because if that didn't work, we aren't here the way we are today. Well, you know, it's a trifecta uh, because I, you know, I think uh, with the consideration of, of uh, the Civil War and bringing the countries back together, also ending slavery, which was a major uh, yep. Yep. Uh, hum, human and moral imperative that we, that we do, Lincoln has to be the, the, the greatest. But when I think back as to the challenges all over the founding, presidents, Lincoln, Adams, Jefferson, Monroe, all of those had, you know, during our early formation, it's, it's astonishing uh, what great leaders uh, emerged from, the, from those times. <clears throat> if I could, I just want to add two more points real quick. One, when you think of greatest first ladies and people who actually played a significant role in shaping the country, I think you have to look at Abigail Adams and the role that she played, very significant. Um, and then also, his, his tenure as president was not particularly spectacular, but I think as far as his model after his time in the presidency, you look at Jimmy Carter and you look at the role at the life of humility of service that he served after he was president, because I don't think you looked at the time that was four years as, as much, but I think afterwards we could all aspire to, to, to follow him in, the, in, in his tracks after he left the after, after he left office, I think was a, an, an amazing example. Mark, anything else? No, I, th I, I certainly agree with all the points you made. Well, thank you both. It was, you know, it's, it's great to remember our traditions and the, and the founding of our, our wonderful country. Mm -hmm.